Okay, Druid, do I want the Miscreant? Mm, not without a combo activator. I want the, like, carpet. Oh, God. Luna, I'm so glad I get to hang out with you. Arlington was a lot of fun, but I really love you. Druid. Jam stats. Buff's good. Murder him while he's weak. God, that micro mummy is such a high roll against Quest Druid. But it's not really what's important. I would say I'm in kind of bad shape here. Um, just because, like, the mid game turns are really important and I have very little going on in them. So even though my early turns are good, uh, they play a bunch of healing, which makes the, the early game pressure, like, less critical. And they have AoE like Starfall and Swipe to catch up and healing. So uh, the fact that I'm potentially looking at some weak mid-game turns could really get me in a lot of trouble. I really wanted to Bone Wraith this turn. On three mana, he doesn't want to Swipe next turn. He just wants to do something like Howl, so I want to have a big board. I want to kill the merchant and have a big board. I think this makes sense. This goes like here for Direwolf Alpha. I definitely want to have some board space in case he ferocious howls. In hindsight, I probably used the uh, buff on the Pharaoh Cat incorrectly. It was it was complicated. The fact that I rolled Faceless Lackey impact it was a one and six, and it made it so I had less board space, which made me want to trade differently. If I rolled some other Lackey, I could have done the same play but traded the four two and still had board space. So I think my play was pretty reasonable. It ended up looking pretty awkward. Okay, so this turn I have to worry about Starfall and Oasis Surger. Don't have a ton of options though. So I definitely do that. The question is, do I play another thing into a potential Starfall? I don't think so. If he Oasis Surgers, I'm Flick and I'm in a pretty decent spot. If he Starfalls, I'm more upset about it and I'm glad I didn't play the extra thing. Seven lackeys. Ah, you're right, Agent W, you're right. I forgot. I haven't updated my brain for uh, the Draconic Lackey. Thank you, Agent W. Thank you. Mm, so carpet does six rush damage. If I flick this, it's a good flick. You'd rather flick Oasis Surger, but I think it's more important to do the good play now than it is to save flick for Oasis Surger. So let's see, if I do this, I'm ahead on board by seven attack. If I carpet, triple rush, I'm head on board by like a magic carpet. I don't think we have to flick. So I want to find invoke guys. Or, yeah, mainly Bell oh, Jesus. Bad things. Help. Stop. No, why are his turns good? Starfall double Anubiseth into Nourish Wrath is uh this is the nightmare scenario. I am getting fucked. Ooh, but look, so many carpets. If I push the one, it's pretty terrible against a healing deck. Could go either way on that. He's used all of his star falls. He's still in a winning position, but that was a that turn could have gone worse for me, for sure. 
Huh. This cold blood's actually pretty nice right here. Fan and I have also interesting. Could use some card draw pretty badly here. Scheme makes no sense. It's cold blood or fan and eyes. I think the cold blood's a little too good. Rush is good against taunt. Sap's even better. Uh, so against Edwin, they have Lodi and not much else. So, I mean, like, very rarely Zephyrus will be active at this point, but yeah, I think Edwin's got to be the play here. I could poke, but I'd rather make a lackey than push two. Yeah. This is pretty tough. I could get, like, it, he's used two Starfalls and a swipe, so it's hard for him to get through these. It's hard for him to load the 10 10, even if he has it. Uh, Galakrond into Kronks does a big buff on a board that's hard for him to remove. As good as his 5 and 6 were, we might get there. I don't like my chances, but I'm in it. Which is an upgrade from how I felt a couple turns ago. Alright, <laughs> that's two Starfalls, two swipes. No Lodi. Do it, Galakrond. Hit me up. Make me a happy man. No. Galakrond, you stupid noob. Double shoot. Fuck. Two, three, four, five. It's less than six. This can't fix it. This can't fix it. All right, so Edwin's trading. He's going to need to kill a 10-3. He's out of swipes and star falls. There's a wrath. There's a loadie that he doesn't have. It is incredibly depressing to take that trade. Most likely I get dunked on by Wrath this turn. You just waste a Surger. It's very unlikely I win this game now. Galakron betrayed me. Oh, he's fishing. There's a little bit of hope. But now, like, Zephyrus is going to be active. I don't know. They probably... Do they run Zephyrus? I think I'm not going to play around it. I've, I've seen some lists without it. There's more cards in Questry these days. Oh, there's the Rush guy. The 4-drop, right, is just always active and makes the 4-2 rush. So he's looking for Wrath and the 4-drop rush guy. Pirate-y thing, man. I don't think Zephyrus is a card I should worry about. Lodi. And this one better than expected. He's really struggling with that removal. Now I can actually kill the Taunt efficiently with Backstab and Rush and such. What? Oh fuck, he found the Wrath. Oh, sick. He order lulled. I hope he drew into the Lodi or feels like a complete moron. That'd be great. Uh, I think we start with looking for a dragon that's big here. I think I want Straza, even though it's probably pretty far off. Because that's just like how you beat Druid, that guy. Um, backstab, rush, rush. Let's see what the spell does before we do this guy. A poisonous knife. Kind of into that. If he wants to face tank 10, that's probably okay with me, right? And he didn't really want to taunt a guy because then he just poison knifes that guy. Like, he probably draws into a removal spell for Edwin this turn. Having this poisonous knife is going to help me deal with his Ysera. It's kind of hard for him to stabilize because he used all of his healing. He used two Hidden Oasis, two Ferocious Howls. So at this point, his life is a limited resource. Yeah, Edwin was fucked. I just want to, like have enough pressure on life total and board that it's hard for him to get a threat down to kill me with. Stall for this Straza activation. That's good with Rush. I can play that three times in Rush. Up in here. Rush one there. Leave the Eagle up. Maybe Hero Power Shoot Lackey is better than playing extra Snip Snap.
It's out of swipes and star falls. I think I just go wide. Lucky Ram, thank you so much for subbing. Lou plays, thanks for 15 months. Appreciate that prime. Said, haven't been on Twitch in forever, but here's a sub to my favorite streamer. Mm, love to hear it. Thank you, Blue Plays. Does Luna always backseat game? Well, you have to understand, Meow is cat fur. That was awesome. So yeah, she backseat games a lot, but it's in a supportive kind of way. Backseat gaming has a negative connotation, which means it's typically understood to be a bad thing, but it's not always negative. Luna does it in just the right way. So he does run Zephyrus. Didn't really expect that. Pretty low, he's out of healing. Fatigue's gonna start doing a lot of damage to him. Four, six. Of course, I'm rapidly losing this board. Save me, dragons. Exactly. Oh wait, Deathwing, interesting. It's really bad at the straws though. All right, what happens when I evasive worm? Five, treat one, treat one. I really want to draw, activate this Straza. My cards are low. How strange. That was a very tough turn. I'm very conflicted between those three dragons. That, that's part of why I like playing this rogue deck, is it has a lot of interesting turns. Yeah, I didn't clear and I get punished by the Cenarius. Now, he is dying very fast. He takes one fatigue, so this puts him to one. It's lethal, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoot Lackey. Yeah, I mean, we just got so much chip damage throughout the game that Edwin connected a bit. He won the board, but it was too little too late. We got that Kronks partly because we drew the extra card off the 5-5, right? It was an interesting game.